Today I'm going to be teaching you how I made this granny square sweater. I made it all out of scrap yarn and I love it because it has so many colors and it matches with everything. So let's just get into the tutorial. I'm first going to teach you how to do these granny squares. Mine have different colors for each of the layers except for the outside one. And I'm just using scrap yarn. So start with your color. And we're gonna make a slip knot. So make a circle and then put the part attached to the yarn ball underneath and pull it through. And then you're gonna chain four. and then attach it in a circle in the first V. And you're gonna do a slip stitch. So go around, pull it through two. And then we're gonna find the center of the ring. And you're gonna chain three. And then Step around, go through the center, and do a double crochet. So around through two, and around through two. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Around, in the center, around, out, around through two, and around through two. So now to make the corner, we're gonna chain two. And then we're gonna do the double crochets again inside the center. So you do three of them. So around, in, around, out, round through two, round through two. There's our next side, and then we're going to chain two and do three again. And then chain two and do three again. After your three, then you're going to chain two, and then we're going to attach it, and I like to do it on the second V because it's a little more sturdy. So I put it through both loops, and then do a slip stitch. So around, pull through both. So now we have kind of a square, and we're going to slip stitch the next two V's till we get to this corner hole right here. So go in, around, okay, and then we're gonna do the next layer. So you're gonna work in threes again, do three double crochets, there's one, Two, three, and then to make the corner, chain two, and do three more. So there's another corner, and now we go into this next hole, do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and 
Okay, after your third double crochet, we're gonna attach these two. So I like to go into the second V and attach it with a slip stitch. And now I'm gonna do another slip stitch to get closer to the corner. You can see we have three holes right here. So we're going to do the same thing, three double crochet, make a corner with two chains, three double crochet, three in the middle, and then three and three. And we're gonna make one more layer so that it is this size. And then I'll show you how to attach the next color. And then we'll do the next color. There's two layers for that and then one layer of black. But you can make the squares however big you want. This is just how big I've made them. So we made it all the way back around and now we're just going to attach to the second V with a slip stitch. And then we're going to just pull on this string. We're gonna cut it right here. Okay, now for the next layer, I'm gonna do two rows of white. So start with your slip knot. And I like to start on the second one and not the corner. So to attach it, you just wrap around and then bring it through and I do a single crochet. And then we're gonna start with our doubles. So do three. go three in the next and we're just going to do the same pattern three in the corner chain two three again and you go all the way around we're going to do two layers and then come back and do the black so we did two layers of the white and now we're just going to attach it to the second v and do our black layer so do a slip stitch For the last layer, you're going to do the same thing, make a slip knot, and then I put it in the second or third. Are you talking to me? Nope. Right here we have 45 squares, and referencing off of this sweater, Hank, that my dog won't get off. We're gonna do the back panel first, and I'm actually gonna do it cropped, so one less row. So we need one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen on the back. So I'm going to just pick what colors I want and make the back panel, and I'll show you how I attach the squares. So this is how I decided to lay my squares out for the 15 and now I will show you how to attach them together. Some of them already attached because they were from a different project. I would just start in the corner. What you're going to do is look for the part where the V's are facing up. It's kind of hard to see because it's black but there will be one side where the V's are facing up and one side where they're not. So what you want to do is Put the sides with both the V's facing up and sandwich them on top of each other. Then we're going to make our seam right here to attach that. And you just start from one corner and I do single crochets or you can do slip stitches. They won't match up perfectly, but it'll be close enough. So let me show you that. So I have my two squares sandwiching the V sides together. Start with a slip knot and I just start connecting them in the corner. So around, and then around through two. And then we're going to look for the first V. It'll be on the inside. Stick it in there through both loops. The second V, or the first V on the other side. And then around through two and you just that's how I attach them you can do it like the sewing method you can do slip stitches 
but you're making your seam on this back part, so make sure as you connect them, this is the front, and you're making sure that you're sandwiching it on top like this so that the seam is at the back. Okay, you can see how this bottom one is kind of hanging over, so they're not completely matching up. So what I'll do is just skip a stitch and put it in the next one and then kind of pull it to make it even. Do that a couple times so that they match up on the edges. And when you get to the end, then you just cut the extra yarn off, pull it through, and then your seam is on the back, and I just weave these in with a yarn needle. And then you just continue to add squares until you have a whole back panel. We have the back panel done, and on one side is all of the seams. And now we are going to do the front two parts. So you need to pick out colors to do six going this way. There will be one space and then six. So I picked out my colors right here. And then I'm just going to put all of these together and lay it on top of here. And I'll let you know how we attach it because we need to leave a space for the armhole. So we'll come back after each of our six panels are attached, and then I'll show you how to do the arms. We have the back panel, and now we have... Oh, I forgot to weave this in. You ought to weave in all of your loose ends, but now we have these two front panels. And we are going to attach it along here for the shoulder and then our arms are going to be three squares wide so you're going to attach it halfway all the way down on each side and then we'll do the arms we have the panels attached to the back so we have this little vest, and now all we have to do is the arms. So I have my squares over here, and I'm gonna pick the colors out, but what we're gonna do is do nine total. And after you put all of this together, then we will fold it in half and attach it to be like an arm. And then we'll just have to attach around the armhole. Make sure that you're doing all of this work inside out so that the seam is on the inside. All right, so we have our vest part right here. We have it attached on the sides with these two and then half of each of these squares open. And we have the arms. So now what I'm gonna do is obviously make it an actual arm. Fold it over, make sure it's inside out with the seams on the outside. And we're gonna crochet up that. And then we're going to attach it and make sure that you line two of the squares up with the other ones. And then it'll just be one spanning each half of these. And we'll see how it fits after that. Um, there's other things you can do, adding like some ribbing, I usually like to just reinforce everything with a double crochet going around everything, but we'll see how it fits. Don't mind this mess. I've attached the arms, so now I just need to turn it back inside out and we're going to check the arm length. It's actually really good. Perfect. Okay. And it's a little bit cropped versus how my other one is cute to finish it off i'm going to go around each of the arms and then around everything else again and the places that you can see this square is longer than this square so i'm gonna do single crochets on this one and then when i get here i want to kind of even it out so then i'm gonna do double crochets 
and I'm just going to keep an eye on the length, try to kind of even it out around all of that, and then we'll be done. Here is the finished product. I really like it. I think I do prefer my longer one that has one more row on the bottom. I think it still turned out really cute. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I will talk to you later. Bye!